Jingle bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out the rain, these are falling down Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video and to a vlogmas video So, I've had another shopping delivery so this is for the next two weeks um some bits are for christmas and this is from tesco's um so i will talk you through what i've got and i will start over here now it's not in any particular order whatsoever we literally just took it out of the bags and sort of plonked it wherever we could okay so I'm going to start here then. So we've got some salt and pepper crackers for cheese and biscuits. Um, sage and onion stuffing. Um, we've got some Tesco's strong kitchen foil. And then for to put away for Christmas, um, some of these mince pies I often make my own and I often shop by as well and combine them, but this year I won't be making any myself. Um, and we've already tried these and these are absolutely delicious. I have to say they are so nice. Uh, rich and decadent is not an understatement at all. They are gorgeous. Um, they're on offer at the moment. So I got four of those to put away for Christmas and for like you know when family come all the rest of it um four packs of the um Andrex washlets it was cheaper to buy it this way um if you bought it in like the multi-pack it was five pounds for four of them um individually they were a pound each um two of these were a substitute but I really don't mind um these are the heat and eat baguettes so what I did order was two of the crusty whites and I ordered two of the um, sort of multi-seeded ones, but they didn't have them. So they've given me all the crusty whites, but that's fine. Um, I've got four pints of semi-skimmed milk and then two tubs of the Greek style yogurt with honey. Um, mozzarella cheese two lots of mozzarella cheese there um over here i've got frozen the perfectly imperfect uh berry, berries and then pitted sweet cherries they're frozen as well so i'll get them in the freezer in a minute um some jalapenos some brown onions and then a an ardan's pate some blue stilton and then two packs of feta cheese um then here i've got uh the decorated kitchen towels uh two that are packed with two in and then some more toilet rolls and egg wise you probably all know anyway by now that there is a shortage of eggs and um you know online <laughs> You kind of like you go and look at the eggs, the ones that you'd normally buy. I mean, I do only ever buy the free range, but um, they've all been unavailable, unavailable, unavailable. And even in the shops, there is a shortage of eggs. Um, however, these were available. They were a lot more expensive than I would normally pay. However, you know, we need eggs, so I got them. The Ferrero Rocher for Christmas over here. These were a substitute. Um, I was very lucky, actually. I ordered the, um, like, the pack with 24 in, and they substituted them with the pack with 48 for the same price as the 24. So, yay, bargain. Okay, let's get over this way now. Uh, doggy treats, uh, as I always say, we have two dogs. We have dogs boarding on their holidays here. Um, and only with permission from the owners do we give them any dog treats. Um, but I get through a lot because most of them can have them other than maybe two or three dogs. Um, so I've got the daily dentals for large dogs. I've got two packs of these. They're the, um, the little nugget things. 
um, a pack of the, these were a substitute actually, I ordered something different, but uh, I didn't mind because they don't have any um, rawhide in, I won't have anything with rawhide for the dogs, and these don't, so, um, they're like a calcium bone with a bit of chicken, and then here we've got the um, chewy chicken with carrot sticks, that's their favourite, and of course there's uh, two of those ones that were substituted, but that's fine. Um, I needed some more tea towels. The last time I did my um, Tesco shop, I bought these. So you've got five for five pounds and they are really nice. And every single one of them is a Terry tea towel. Sometimes in a pack, you will get a couple that are Terry and then the others might be like, you know, just a cotton. Um, I prefer all Terry, so I ordered another pack of those. So I've now got 10 new tea towels, so I don't need any more for a while. Um, sage and onion stuffing, salad tomatoes and baby plum tomatoes. Um, what have I got? Uh, six cans of their own, uh, like the cheap brand of baked beans, which are absolutely lovely. We have them an awful lot. Um, this was on offer, the olive oil. It was still expensive, but then, you know, the cold pressed olive oil is expensive. Um, but yeah, so I've got some nice olive oil for, uh, when I do sort of like cheese and biscuits, or if I want to do, um, you know, for dipping flatbreads, or if I want to do some mozzarella with tomatoes, a little bit of pesto, a little bit of olive oil over, Yum. Um, oh, some more fruit here that's frozen. These are the pineapple chunks, so I need to get these in the freezer. Then over here, I've got some um, pork loin steaks. And then two packs of streaky bacon. That is when I do the bacon and brie baguettes. Um, some red onions, some carrots. Move around this way. Uh, two packs of the baking potatoes and some um, easy peeler satsumas and the tiniest little watermelon in the whole wide world. Um, some fairy fabric conditioner. Uh, the coffee that I buy a lot, which is either from Sainsbury's or uh, from Tesco's. This is the Tesco one now. Um, 500 grams and it's like seven pounds something. So it's a good coffee and a great price. Okay, so ready to do my Christmas cake. I have got some green icing, some gold marzipan, some white icing, edible glue and glitter spray. So that will be a separate video coming your way soon. Over here now, guys, um, some white pepper, two packs of uh, flatbreads. Then for the freezer, I've got three loaves of the, um, this is the sourdough bread. So three of those, three loaves of wholemeal with uh, seeds and grains, so three of those to go into the freezer. Um, two packs of the Tassimo hot chocolate pods. Um, two of these packs of green seedless grapes. Um, mushrooms, chestnut mushrooms. A really lovely looking um, a quiche. This is goats and this is goats, cheese and roasted pepper quiche. It looks yum, doesn't it? With, have it with some salad, lovely. Um, uh, some romaine lettuce hearts, two red peppers. Now we're on, on the countdown, guys. Um, cheese galore for several reasons. Twice in the fortnight I'm going to be making still and broccoli soup. Um, the red peppers, I'm also going to be making red pepper and red lentil soup. I have previously uh, made it and videoed it. If I remember, I will um, link it in the description box so you can go and have a look. If you so want to, um, two packs of brie and then for cheese and biscuits one night. Um, 
we've got this. I haven't had this one before. So this is black garlic infused aged sheep's cheese. I thought we'd try that. They were offer, I think it was three for three for six pounds, I think. Um, so I went with this one as well for a nice change. So this one it says sweet and earthy, a distinctive aged cheese infused with black truffle for a decadent flavour experience. So I thought we might try that. Um, and then I also got this, which was part of that, um, which is the uh, Mexicana cheddar, a nice hot cheese. Um, two packs of the salami. This is the um, the German peppered salami here. Um, two hummus, they were two for two pounds, so it's just the classic. And then the red, uh, the red pepper hummus. I've got five pats of butter. Um, some garlic and herb soft cheese. This is the reduced fat one. And some more pate. This is the Brussels pate. Two lots of broccoli. One will be for soup. And one will be to use for meals. And then some more cheese. I've got mature cheddar. I've got the um, uh, the Creamfields cheddar. And some red, red Leicester. And finally, I've got some ham. So, prime cuts of peppered ham. Two for three pound fifty. It's very nice. We've had this lots of times before. Um, but this would probably be having ham, egg, and chips. A good old British staple, quick and easy but tasty dinner one night. Um, and that's it, my loves. That's everything that I got from this Tesco shop. As I've said, lots of this will last two weeks and more. It will just be things like the salad stuff, the mushrooms, the milk, um, cheeses and things like that. There's absolutely tons. I don't need those again. Um, you know, fruit like grapes, bread, we've got tons of. Fabric softener, that is, I've already got one on the go, so that one will last me. Um, coffee, I've got loads of vegetables, lots of, I've still got lots of potatoes and stuff there, so these potatoes will last for ages. Um, olive oil will last for a long time, as with dog treats. Tomatoes, I will probably, well, I know I will have to, um, like, stock up on those again. Um, toilet rolls we're going to be all right for, because we do have an unopened pack, um, so we're going to be fine for those. Um, and all the rest of it, and the frozen, f the frozen fruit and everything. So I need to go, and um, I need to pop all of this. Well, I need to pop all of the fruit, the frozen fruit, into the freezer. I hope you've enjoyed watching what I've got in Tesco's. Um, yeah, quite a big haul this time. Um, but as I say, I won't be doing another shop other than the fresh things to top up with uh, for two weeks. Um, so if you've enjoyed it, if you found it interesting, let me know what you buy regularly in your shops. Um, I'm going to be doing something very, very interesting with these pork chops, a different type of meal all together. So I might do that as a separate video. I'm sure you'll find it interesting. Um, but yes. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you all in the next video, my lovelies. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.